what is everyone's favorite word, almost? Free. Oh, I, I thought it was right. Bazinga. Isn't, isn't that what all kids are into? Do you want me to go on a tirade right now? Really? No, we're not going to go on a tirade. Anyway, push that aside. It's free comic book day this weekend. On Saturday. It's a national holiday where you get to go to a comic book store and get free comic books! Um, Casey, I don't think it's a holiday. Really? No. It isn't my I don't holiday. think that's how holidays work. Really? Unless Alien Day counts as a holiday. Alien Day? Dude, there was Donut Day the other day as a holiday. It was Penguin Day. We're calling this a holiday. Anyway, there's about, I want to say, 25, 30 comics put out from the various publishers, everybody from Marvel down to, like, Oni Press to Boom, uh, and even some local indie stuff that we got from Portland. Um, but we are here to bring you a quick shot of some of the stuff, just a small sampling of what you might find this Saturday. Um, I will start it off with something I'm actually pretty excited for. New Legend of Korra. Uh, much like the Avatar books that they've been doing from Dark Horse that have been filling in the gaps of the series, um, this is probably the closest you're going to get to new Korra, though they're talking about making a new show, I don't know. What? Yeah, apparently. Um, but it's really cute, it's kind of young Korra stuff, and she plays with polar bears. Yeah, that and cover is the most adorable thing I've seen in the It's highly adorable. Um... So yeah, and there's also some plans for zombies and how to train your dragon, because what goes better together, the dragons and polar bears? I, that sounds really bad, actually. Yeah, I don't know. It. Oh. <laughs> and from Benitez Productions, because the man makes right? that much money that he can <laughs> he just have does. his own company. <laughs> Lady Mechanica, number zero, free comic book day edition. Um, this is just, right off the bat, a reprint of the zero issue of Lady Mechanica, but that's not a bad thing. That book is in such high demand that chances are there's a lot of people out there who haven't read this. This gives yeah. you a nice, free taste of the series. It's been such a smash hit, like, selling more than any steampunk comic since, like, steampunk. It is the quintessential steampunk comic these days, I would venture to say. Oh, yeah. Um, from Dark Horse, they are pulling out the stops and bringing you not only New Serenity, but Richard Corbin doing mm -hmm. Hellboy for free. Let's just take a moment and appreciate that. Uh, Mike Mignola does the writing, as usual. Can't quite figure out if it's new or not, but I kind of want to say it is. Um, and then there's also, of course, Aliens, because, as you mentioned, Aliens Day, there's a movie. Hey, they need to tie stuff in. Yeah. Um, but I will say that this has the best Serenity art that I've ever seen in a comic book, because, you know, as much as I like those characters, that art was kind of stuff. So what are you going to do? Mm. <laughs> uh, from Black Mask, we have a free comic book day sampler of their series We Can Never Go Home and Young Terrorists. Uh, it's actually a new We Can Never Go Home story, Ooh. which takes place uh, sort of on the side during the shootout in the, the first series, which is really cool. The way they tie into um, the main story, I think there's a new character for the second series debuting in here mm. who has a really interesting relationship to the main characters given this one story. Um, and I believe the Young Terrace is also a prequel story to cool. the main series. So this is all new content here Yay from Black for Mask. Mask. Unfortunately, there's no space writers in here, but we can't so have so everything slow, good. Right? I mean, what are you gonna? He's do, working man? on like two different books I right know, now. Right? That stuff they put up the other day. Oh man, the mm -hmm. Muerto. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Uh, man, I miss it. Purse it was very oh, cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Card. Yep. Um. Another sampler from Valiant featuring the. See, it is a summer crossover. The summer of 4001 AD. Though. <laughs> I don't care. It's the summer of 4001 AD. Uh, so it gives you a prologue in here of uh, 4000 AD, 4001 AD, which comes out uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday. Um, with art by Clayton Henry, and then also bringing you uh, Divinity. Um, uh, preview, Divinity 2 preview, and as well as Archer and Armstrong uh, number one preview. Mm -hmm. Both Divinity and Archer Armstrong have been very, very cool. We sold Divinity super fast. Um, so if you're kind of curious what's going on in the world of Valiant, there you go. And from Marvel, we've got a preview of the new Captain America Steve Rogers series from Spencer and Saiz, um, plus a sort of lead in to the new huge Spider-Man storyline, Dead No More, uh, drawn by Javi Garon and written by who else but Dan Slott. Like he's gonna let anyone else write Peter Parker. He's got that a lock. Yeah. And 
from Marvel again. We'll do a Marvel oh, double shot. <gasps> they have two comic books tying into movies that are coming out. <gasps> oh my god, you thought there was marketing. Um, anyway, Jim Chung draws his butt off on this. Um, it's not the first really awesome mini free comic book day thing he's done. In fact, he's done like four of these because Jim Chung can't put together more than ten pages, but that's okay. The ten pages he put together are awesome. Um, this also sees a very cool kind of wasp story who I think is still dead. Oh, no, that's the new wasp actually. And Janet has not been dead since the end of Bendis' Avengers. Uh, See, shows fact. you how much I know. Uh, but it is a tie-in to the all-new, all-different Avengers as well. Um, so, you know, you get your Marvel double shot on here. And from local publishers Fanographics, a free edition of Love and Rockets. Just in case you are a heathen and you <laughs> haven't exposed yourself to the greatest <laughs> comic ever made yet, Here's a nice little smattering of what this series has to offer. There's a uh, Maggie story in here from the Locust side of things by Jaime Hernandez. And there is a, looks like a Fritz story in the back. Um, one, of, one of those girls. There's like five of those sisters uh, from Gilbert in the back. Uh, and this is strictly not for kids. There, there's some cuss words in there. There might be some naked bodies or something. Boobies. Um... However, parents will love this because it's actual life stories about real people and they're like emotionally relevant. It's amazing. In comics even. I know. Though there's no rockets. Sorry. There were in the early days, but they're far past that. That's, they start, they, they, that's the first thing in the introduction. It's like there's no rockets in this book. <laughs> um, a decidedly different flavor of awesome. One Punch Man! Which is really self-explanatory and should be stupid, but it's brilliant. It is utterly brilliant. I swear to you that One Punch Man is one of the most amazing mangas to come out in the last, I don't know, five, ten years. It's truly brilliant. Um, it's a little weird to see it large, but that doesn't matter. It means the fist is bigger and the action it hits harder. You can see the cross hatching that much better. You really can. Um, God, it's just amazing. Okay, I'm serious. If you if you haven't experienced the One Punch Man yet, you need to you need to read this. One. Punch. Yeah. Just one. Just one. Uh, and then also, uh, back up here by My, uh, My Hero Academia, uh, which is another recent manga from Viz. This yeah, is the that's Viz a manga really popular popular one, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Guy's got some serious hair. Yeah, He's got seriously. some bunny hair. <laughs> um, and DC has to offer a free Suicide Squad number one from way back in the beginning of the New 52. This was actually way the back. first appearance of Harley Quinn on the Suicide Squad. There you go. And in the New 52 at all. Yeah. We've also got Deadshot and King Shark, who I hear is actually showing up in the movie for like five minutes. King Shark! Which is awesome, because he was my favorite character at the end of Secret Six. Club he King just shark. yells about how he's a shark, and he eats things, because he's a shark. And who, who, who cro crowned him king? He did! That's what I mean! That's what's he awesome like, about yeah. it! The King Shark! <laughs> Um, and wrapping it up, something for the kids. Uh, this has been highly um, taunted and hyped and put out through regular social media stuff. Uh, DC Superhero Girls. This is based off the to uh, toy line, um, but really meant to uh, help give something to the large amount of really young girls who are into comic books, who again might be turned off by like the serious midriff of Supergirl and Power Girl and other things like that. Um, and this is the superhero uh, girls dealing with not only growing up problems, but you know, superpower problems, which are just that much harder. Um, and there's some cool uh, dossier stuff in the back as well. And um, this is the, the, the very first comic thing, even because the book's not out yet, I don't mm -hmm. think. Yes. So if you want to know what's up with the DC Superhero Girls, that is it. Check it out. And like I said, that's just a fraction of the stuff. We will be open from 10 to 6 on Saturday. Limit two per person. And again, not every comic book is free. I'm sorry that I have to keep explaining that, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. And we hope to see you all on Saturday.